Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And something's going down at Lucasfilm. Something is going down. Something is up. We don't know what's up. We're going to talk about Kathleen Kennedy. We have not uttered her name in quite some time because, uh, frankly, we don't care. Uh, well, it's what like, you know, it's like with evil or like, you know, if your house is haunted, the less you talk about, it, the less likely something bad's going to happen. Yeah, right. If you mention her name three times. We don't times, want to summon her. Uh, you don't because, you know, but bad things happen. Uh, we're going to talk about the situation because there are rumors coming from multiple pop culture news outlets that are not associated with YouTube channels saying that Kathleen Kennedy is kind of being stripped of her power over at Lucasfilm, that she's not allowed to announce projects, Star Wars projects anymore. And the reason for that is probably uh, everything she announces turns to shit. Basically. Um, everything she announces gets canceled within a couple of months of being announced or she'll announce a director and that director gets gone for creative differences. Right, right. So know? it's like just stop, stop telling people things so right. we know for 100% sure, apparently. Shut up, Kathy. I don't know, but yeah. Shut up, Kathy. According to the direct, she is uh, reportedly prevented from uh, announcing new Star Wars projects. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about this. We're gonna talk about some other um, interesting things going on at Lucasfilm right now. We've been doing videos in the last couple of days now. Some interesting stuff going on. Uh, you know, at Disney, we did one yesterday talking about the the head writer on the X Men '97 animated series saying that a prerequisite or working on the show was that you had to appreciate what came before and not actively hate the fans. Right, or the franchise. So it's interesting. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on lately around Lucasfilm and we're gonna talk about that. But before we get into it any further. Uh, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and Rants guys over 277, almost 278,000 subs. Thank you for the support. If you want to continue to support the channel and support Mama Sparkles, we have a couple, couple bags of holding. That's what I'm yeah, calling Yeah, there's a few left. Bags of holding uh, left. Maybe she made fanny, fanny packs or something. I don't know. It would take a lot more fabric. It would. Uh, yeah, especially, you know, some people it takes a lot this of fabric. Is, it was me. <laughs> and this is custom. So this is custom fabric, actually. Custom fabric. Uh, there we go, guys. So we're going to put a link in the... Uh, in the comments if you want to check this out again this is uh, these are signed uh, mm -hmm. it's very hard to get all four of us in the same room these days for various reasons not because we're getting divorced don't worry about it but uh anyway so we're going to leave that there so let's let's talk about this uh, comic book resources even picked it up which i thought was interesting uh, i think the direct was the first uh, first place to talk about it of course you know they probably lifted it from youtubers didn't give them credit but um, anyway, Disney reportedly told Star Wars boss, shut up. <laughs> I'm sure they said it nice. That's going to be that's going to be the title of the, the video. Disney tells Kathleen Kennedy to shut up. Shut up, Kathy. Uh, to stop announcing projects oh, prematurely. It, it came from Puck. Oh, Puck. Oh, OK. This guy is usually OK. There we go. Yeah. Puck. Um, he knows his stuff. Uh, the guy over there, he's he's an industry insider. It's a uh, uh, pay to read blog as i understand it and we got a miller commercial here we can't have why are they run beer commercials on cbr i didn't even know they could do that uh anyway according to puck lucasfilm president kathleen kennedy has been advised advised by disney to stop announcing new projects years in advance of their release date the report comes after a tumultuous few years for the star wars franchise that saw several film projects and creative partnerships fall apart after initially being hyped up by Lucasfilm. Now, this isn't like Marvel, where we know way out, ways out, here's the slates coming, because Kevin Feige actually delivers the films. <laughs> so and Lucasfilm keeps doing this. They had a Ryan Johnson trilogy announced, and that was gone. Even though Ryan Johnson keeps trying to get himself in the media every chance he gets, saying that me and Kathy are still talking about it. That doesn't mean it's approved. Yeah. And then we had Patty Jenkins with Rogue Squadron, and then that was on again, off again, creative differences and scheduling conflicts, and now it's removed from the theatrical slate completely, and no idea where it went, because it's supposed to come out next December of, like, next year. Yeah. That disappeared. Uh, let's see, who else do we have? Taika Waititi, we've got, that's MIA. Kevin Feige's supposed to be doing one. We don't know where that we is. We don't know what's going on with that. They um, mentioned, you know, the Game of Thrones guys 
You're yep. supposed to work on, you know, films, pff, gone. Even even going back a couple of movies, uh, Colin Trevorrow was supposed to do The Rise of Skywalker. His episode nine was actually vastly superior to J.J. Abrams' well, even version. Even on the shows. We've had how many shows that they, like, okay, Obi-Wan got pushed back and they had to rewrite the whole thing because the original, from what we're understanding, was about Luke and oh Obi-Wan. God, and you what? can't have that. We have to make no fucking sense and make it about Leia. So Leia knows Obi-Wan, just didn't say anything because he told her not to. Yeah, so there's, I mean, there's a lot. I mean, hell, uh, Solo had the Lego the Lego movie mm-hmm. guys, and then they booted them out and brought in Ron Howard. To right, finish to finish it. it. You know? So this has been an ongoing issue under Kathleen Kennedy where things are just announced, don't get, they don't happen. People keep leaving for creative differences. There's all kinds of drama. And then when you're delivering the final product, when it comes to the films anyway, they weren't doing that great. I'm sorry, Rise of Skywalker did not do well because you managed to piss off everyone. Yeah, now they have to make sure they get in there. Ryan Johnson says Ryan Johnson's trilogy about Ryan Johnson's version of Star Wars. Because Ryan Johnson. Um, But maybe Disney wants to subvert Ryan Johnson's expectations by not giving him a film. (laughs) So now we're going to talk about Damon Lindelof. Now here's, here's the next one. It seems to me like these people are going out there and just announcing shit on their own. Like, hey, I just had a meeting with Lucasfilm. Well, the story with, um, oh, what was her name? The Acolyte? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Headley, um, oh, Headland, Leslie Headland. My mind went blank. Leslie Headland. The story was, and it was weird how it got it got leaked to insider out, uh, news outlets that she was doing it, and they think that it got leaked because they were trying to announce it without permission. Now that I don't know if that's true, but that seemed to be the case at the time by what we were hearing. Yeah. So I mean, look, this is <laughs> there have been rumors about there being uh, conflict and strife between Disney and Lucasfilm for years. I think they tried to present a unified front for a while, but I think it's gotten to a place, you know, kind of like with Doctor Who too. You know, I just did a video on that earlier today that they're basically admitting by bringing David Tennant back that the franchise is completely screwed. And I think it's it's going to get to that place with Star Wars too. They're like, we're, we're just going to have to go back to basics because everything that we're trying is just not working. You know, people turn out for you know Mandalorian, and they love Luke Skywalker being proper Luke. But well, then it was interesting. Is the one person that was like the senior vice president? Is that what it was? Senior vice president at oh, Lucasfilm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we'll pull that up first because that will go before this. Uh, Michelle Rowan is step step down now. She was supposed to be the one that was like working with a lot of the films, but they said since there haven't been a lot of films and there aren't going to be any films, the only one on the slate is one that's scheduled for December 2025, and it's an unnamed film. So since there hasn't been anything going forward, it's all going to TV, which is under um, Favreau and Filoni for the most part. This person uh, stepped down. Yeah, there's definitely something going on, and it's it's interesting. Uh, Cosmic Book News, their recent post uh, about the Andor ratings. I keep forgetting Andor exists. I do too. I think that's probably what a lot of people keep forgetting. I need to watch it. I just keep forgetting No, you don't about need it. to watch it. You don't need yeah, but to. I like Cassie and Andor. So I kind of like wanted to see it. I don't know how it's going to be, but if it sucks, I'll watch like an episode and that's it. Spoiler, he dies. <laughs> that's funny. Anyway, um, so that in mind, you know, this person just stepped down. Now we're talking about this, this new potential film that they're like, oh, oh, was it Damon? Was it Lin- Lindelof? Uh, uh, yeah, Lindelof? Damon Lindelof. Who? Yeah, oh God. Okay. They're like, they're like, oh, 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 this getting a, they're getting a new Star Wars. Film. No, it's not been greenlit. Basically, they're working on a project to see if it gets greenlit. Is what's going on. And so, what well, Abrams probably got him in there because they worked on Lost together. Yeah. Yeah, J.J. Abrams, man, he's just like, he's touching all the pop culture. He's fingering up everything. I mean, he was involved in getting the two clowns hired that are in charge of Lord of the Rings. Not not these two clowns. No, not these two clowns. These are different clowns. But, like, you know, uh, he was in charge of Watchmen. Well, this guy was in charge of Watchmen. Yeah, he did the Watchmen. He was an executive producer and wrote it, apparently. Yeah, Watchmen, which was, well, okay, this doesn't take much, but it was so bad that, that uh, Alan Moore... Uh, you know, author of the original Watchmen graphic novel came out and said, hey, uh, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassingly bad. Watchmen didn't have anything to do with white supremacy or, you know, neo-Nazis or any of that crap. Uh, but, you know, he doesn't like anything that people do with this. But to stuff, be fair, so. though, yeah, he always is calling some kind of crap about something. But they have, okay, so they're working on, they have they have him from Watchmen. And then they, the director is the person from Ms. Marvel. 
Yeah. So I'm like, okay. And what's weird about this? So Ms. Marvel actually looks better than if you go back to Watchmen. The Watchmen Rotten Tomatoes scores was 96 percent critical, 56 Hell audience. No. Well, you know it was 96 critical. Yeah. Because oh my god, representation. And then the audience score was absolute shit. Yeah, the audience people hate it. They're like, this is not Watchmen. It has very little to do with the comic book. It um, got canceled quickly. It did yeah. not do well. Nine but episodes, I think that was it. Ms. Marvel, if, uh, you know, the other person that would be involved in this is the director from Ms. Marvel. Um, oh, look, 97% critical score. Except when you click on it, it actually has three reviews and that's it. That now, cannot be right. This is another one I forgot existed. Uh, it's like, I mean... A lot of people were like, oh, my God, here we go, Ms. Marvel. We've, we're kind of scraping the bottom of the the uh, Marvel Comics universe at this point. But, you know, the kid that plays her is actually, she seems like a pretty solid kid. Yeah, I like her. You know, but, but the thing is, they couldn't make it stick in comic form. And then it doesn't seem to be sticking well in show form either. No. No, it does not. Um, so let's just, yeah. But the audience score on Ms. Marvel is actually pretty good. The audience score is like 80%, which isn't terrible. Okay, so people that ha I haven't seen it, uh, I actually tried to watch it, and it had the whole Carol Danvers, uh, Ms. Marvel fangirl thing at the beginning. I'm like, huh. Eh, I just no. don't like, I'm sorry, I don't like Captain Marvel. I don't care if people get pissed about it. I don't care. Mostly because I don't like Brie Larson. I, don't, I just don't think she's that good, and I think she's kind of a, a bench. I'm not going to lie. Kind of a bench, yeah. I think she, cause she's, just, she's just like catty, and I don't like her. <laughs> so... But people that have seen it uh, said it actually uh, subverted expectations. It actually was probably one of the, the least, quote unquote, woke uh, Disney plus Marvel shows well, out there. I definitely want to watch it. Then. So they said, you know, just realize that this is basically super powered Disney Channel, you know, going into it and don't expect, you know, anything beyond that. And you'll be pleasantly surprised. Um, so I so temper your expectations and don't be happy. Temper your expectations. And this, like, we're going to take it upon ourselves to do a sequel slash reimagining of what is considered to be one of the greatest graphic novels of all time. One of the greatest pieces. You actually of, have it, don't you? Yeah, of course I do. Yeah. 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 Um, and I won't, I haven't even watched the Watchmen movie. I've seen bits of it, but I'm like, eh, um, I have no interest in any sequels or spinoffs or anything nah. like that. It's like, it, it, but let's give this person a star Wars show. Well, why not? Everybody why gets a star that, Wars show. One? And then they get announced that they're working on it. And then you never hear anything else about it. It just disappears. No. So this is um, this is really interesting. I mean, again, we don't know what is actually going on. These are all rumors. Um, I just think it's funny because I mean, one, they didn't announce any new Star Wars movies. Uh, you know, last uh, uh, was it? Invest no. Yeah, the D twenty three. Oh, D twenty three. Yeah, I'm like yeah. I can't keep track. Was it like they the Investor Day or the people were Disney expecting? Plus day people were expecting a lot of announcements for Marvel, especially and for Star Wars, and they didn't really give us anything new. It's just. Um, and what they are telling you and what they are bringing out, what they are announcing are shows for Disney+. Plus. Lucasfilm is taking Star Wars, or I think it's Disney has taken Star Wars, more to the TV show route than it is to the film route. We haven't had a film since 2019. There's nothing on the slate to 2025. And we don't even know what that, that one is. Yeah, this is this is a little weird, guys. It's a, it's a little weird. There's definitely something going on. I just think it's so funny because for the last couple of years now, everybody's been like, those damn YouTubers... Uh, this guy, again, Hollywood Insider, Matthew Bellany, uh, so with you know, Disney Star Wars, there's no continuing storylines, no new characters worth following, several top tier creators hired and then discarded. Yes, which we, you know, oh my God, so we've been saying this whole time. I said, Kennedy's stewardship is a stunning example of IP mismanagement. Yes, and then for whatever reason, they won't do anything about it. Yeah, I mean, if they put Favreau and Filoni in charge, I think that... Uh, you know, they could probably turn it around eventually. But I mean, there's so much damage done to the brand in general. Like the Star Wars merchandise doesn't sell like it used to. It's not an event. Star Wars isn't an event. No, anymore. it's because it's like it's it's all the time. I was going to say the same thing about Marvel. Like I, they had the commercial today, the trailer for um, Ant-Man, the Wasp, Quantumania. And yeah. I don't know how well it's going to do. I mean, Ken the Conqueror might bring people out. But I honestly don't know how well it's going to do overall because people are just so tired of you know, Marvel. They're getting tired of Star Wars. And you're seeing every new, you know, episode or movie or whatever declining as it goes because people are just like, you know, okay, don't care anymore. Getting tired of it. It's too much to watch. Yeah, meanwhile, look at what DC's doing. They're like, what do people actually want? Oh, Henry Cavill is Superman. 
Oh, let's bring the rock in. Oh, let's let's just put out a superhero movie that doesn't have a lot of politics in it and just, you know, yeah, let it go. I just go. I know what intended. I just I, you after they brought out The Force Awakens, they did not put Han, Luke and Leia together. I was like, are you kidding me? At that point, I knew that we were completely kerfuggered because, you know, at that they they that one opportunity they had to give people what they wanted. They teased it and they didn't do it. You had one job, one job. All you had to do. And that's why, you know, people, you know, uh, turned out in droves and it made what, like $2 billion or something. They came for Han, Luke and Leia. And yeah. They didn't give it to them. Kathy went to push all new, all female Star Wars. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. I will bet, bet you anything that she's behind it. Oh, I guarantee you she's behind you it. You had and one job, Kathy. So, I mean, now Disney as a company seeking to maximize its profits has to realize that they are leaving money on the table with Star Wars. And that to get people back, they're probably going to have to make some drastic changes. And, uh, you know. But they uh, refused to do the biggest one they need to do. Yeah, the biggest one is they have to get rid of Kaplan Candy. Which I, they will not do for whatever no, reason. No, because she's, you know, she's golden. She Hollywood, has, I mean. uh, no, no, I don't buy that. Maybe once upon a time. I don't buy it now. Given you, you're in Hollywood, you're only as good as your results um, or your, you know, check boxes, let's be honest. And, um, there's they'll let people fill up to a point. I, this, I don't think that's the case anymore. Whatever happened to the story group? Is that still a thing? No, I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. I, I have no idea. I mean, they really there's there there's. I told them to shut up. There's all kinds of weird stuff going on with Lucasfilm. Um, they're gonna have to they're gonna have to do what they're doing with Doctor Who basically and just push the reset button. Uh, do what works for now to try to get the audience back and and you know get rid of who's in charge. Do you know what I think it is? I think it's I think it's uh, they're being told to shut up because we haven't heard from the story group. We haven't heard from the writers lately that no. much either. And before they wouldn't shut up, and you were constantly hearing from them. And the one girl got up there and was like diversity and dinosaurs, and I was like, ha, ah, ha, ah, ah, ha. Ah. I know where that came from. Anyway, what really what really did it though? I think what really was the tipping point was uh, Pablo Hidalgo going out there and attacking the the YouTuber. Who had cancer because he was crying over Luke Skywalker returning. And I'm like, that is literally one of the most disgusting things I've well, ever seen. That and then the fact people kept pointing out that their their views on YouTube were terrible. Oh, yeah, and yeah. then all of a sudden they that all the downvotes were hidden. Like yes. right after all that. that and that, most people point to this. Disney spends a shit ton of money on advertising on YouTube, and I guarantee you they probably made a phone call and said, you hide the downvotes because all these people are making videos about how all of our stuff is getting mocked and it's hurting us. And if, if you want us to keep spending millions and millions and millions of dollars every year on YouTube, you better you better turn that off. And it was she was a catalyst for it because it was her video that got downvoted. Um, you know, so I, I don't know guys we'll see what's going on uh definitely something up a lot of a lot of things pointing to something being up at lucasfilm but does anybody care at this point and i uh, well, beyond that do we have this one person's like oh i'm gonna be working on a star wars movie that doesn't mean it's gonna get greenlit doesn't mean like in a in a year they're gonna still be working on a star wars movie because they keep announcing these things and then you know what's that sound i hear a, a toilet flushing in the background yeah <laughs> pretty much ryan's taking his shit again <laughs> yeah. flush it quick flush it quick <laughs> Some of that indoor scented spray. Yeah, just, you know. yeah. Anyway, we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.